What does a voluntarist think about unions, about uh, labor unions kind of stuff? Well, I'll tell you what this voluntarist thinks. And uh, this is, of course, does not apply to every single voluntarist who has ever lived. This is my personal opinion. I think you'll find that most people are probably somewhat similar to what I'm thinking. Um, that is that it depends on what a union does. The reputation of unions, what has happened frequently, is that a union gets rough and tough. It initiates violence by forcing people to be members of that organization. Um, and then it uh, you, know, you know, prevents people, scabs, from coming on to job sites uh, unless they're you know, allowed to by the union. It just does all kinds of kind of nasty uh, stuff that people shouldn't do. However, not every union has to do that. So I'll tell you what I think an okay union would be, and that would be if a group of employees of some organization got together and said, hey, um, instead of each of us trying to get an appointment and going in and, and saying to the boss, you know, hey, I'd like a raise of 50 cents, how about we just say, you know, there, there are 30,000 of us, why don't we get together and just kind of have a little group and say, yeah, 25,000 of us are really going to start looking for other jobs if we don't get a 50 cent an hour raise. Hey, Bill, will you go make an appointment with the, uh, the boss and let him know that a huge number of us really want a 50% raise? That's perfectly acceptable. That's, you know, people forming free association, forming groups, forming uh, that completely okay. So then when that, or I think I said Bill, when Bill goes to the boss and says, hey, I'm representing 95% of your employees who want a 50 cent raise or they're going to start looking for jobs elsewhere, that's completely acceptable for him to go to the boss and say that. And then this is where it sometimes gets tricky. If the boss says, get out of my office, nobody asks me for a raise, okay, then Bill needs to leave that private property as he's been asked to do. Bill can go back and say, hey, boss is a jerk. He's probably not going to give us the raise. You know, it's up to you guys what you want to do. You might want to start putting in applications at other places. Everything so far is completely okay. The boss did everything morally, acceptably, or acceptably from a moral uh, standpoint. So did the employees. So did the, the so did the representative bill. Everything's good at this point. Um, if the boss says, you know, that really ticks me off. I'm just going to shut the company down. We're going to take a six month break, and I'm going to come back, hire new people who actually appreciate the lower amount that I pay, and we're going to start over. Completely morally acceptable. He can fire everybody that moment. It might give him a particular reputation, but he's absolutely morally allowed to do that. All of the employees are allowed to get upset and immediately quit. Absolutely their right to do that. Nobody has violated the, the non-aggression principle. Everybody can still be a member of the, the get-along club or whatever we want to call it, where we all just kind of get along and don't initiate violence. Nobody has been reduced to a state of nature. Where people would be reduced to a state of nature would be if the union then uh, Bill goes and tells everybody, hey, let's stand outside and block the entrance. So the 5% of people who do want to still work for whatever boss is willing to pay so that they can't get in through the doors, so that customers can't get in through the doors, et cetera. If this is being done on private property and the private property owner, the boss, doesn't want them there, okay, now we have a problem. Now we're violating this, this uh, initiating violence against property. It's, it's trespass. That, the boss would have an absolute right to say, get off my property or I'll use force to get you off. So that's just kind of walking through um, what a union does. I mean, that's kind of the typical 60, 70, 80% of what they do. And that's the moral look that I take at it. Do I have things wrong? And I know there are a lot of other little things that unions do, but I don't like using mushy, nonsensical words like unions help everyone get paid 28% more. Well, no, let's use real words. Uh, if unions can negotiate and say, hey, all the employees are willing to put in an hour of their free time every day learning their skill set better for the next four weeks, and how about if they do that, you give everybody a 20%, 28% raise. Great. No initiation of violence. There are some really coercive things, though, that many unions do, and I, I don't support those. So let me know what you think. Am I on base? Uh, am I off base? You know, what are your thoughts about unions? And maybe we'll do a follow-up on this sometime and address the concerns that uh, that you put below in comments. Please do subscribe. Please uh, click the little notification bell uh, so you know when I put out new content and you can look at it, see if it's something you think will interest you or not. Thanks again. Talk to you next time.